So a lot of you are probably well aware by now that Windows 10 reached its end of life and support has stopped for Windows 10 as of mid-October 2025. And this has left Windows users at sort of a fork in the road. They've got to decide whether to go with Windows 11, which may require a hardware upgrade in order to have a compatible uh, CPU that will work with Windows 11, and also to accept all of the wonderful, beautiful features of Windows 11 that everybody is just so happy about right now and that is, you are guaranteed to fall in love with, right? Uh, so accepting all of those or, or deciding to switch to Linux. Now, there's a lot of videos and there's a lot of commentary out there about switching to Linux. And uh, there's a lot of people that kind of, you know, they love Linux and I love Linux too. It's fantastic. But I think a lot of people are kind of uh, oversimplifying the process, right? They're trying, they want you to switch to Linux for good reasons. Um, but it's not that simple. It's not as simple as people make it out to be, especially, especially if you are a recording artist or music producer and you're heavily invested in Windows world. It's going to be a little bit difficult and you're probably going to lose access to a lot of software and plugins and virtual instruments, things that you have invested in heavily over the years, right? Um, and you're going to have to relearn some things, including your, your DAW software, which may or may not even be compatible with Linux. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some testing here over the next couple of months. And I'm going to try out actually Ubuntu Studio because Ubuntu Studio is kind of the disro that seems to be made with uh, folks like myself in mind, right? People that produce audio, multimedia, video. Now, if you're a recording musician and you're interested in figuring out a way to avoid uh, the Windows 11 thing, uh, and you're kind of interested in possibly going with Linux, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get updates on all of uh, the various things that I'm going to be finding out over the next few weeks. Now, I'm going to be testing it out uh, to see if the uh, the Jack audio driver that's built into this is going to work with things like a USB mixer, uh, USB 3 audio interface, uh, stuff like that, a keyboard for MIDI, um, all those things. So I'm going to be trying all of that stuff out and see how it works. I'm also going to do some tinkering around and exploring in our Dur, which is the digital audio workstation that comes with Ubuntu Studio. And so far, this thing is pretty sweet. I mean, we're talking about a free DAW. Now, I'm probably not going to be letting go of Windows 10 for my recording, my main recording workstation anytime soon, because I just, as I mentioned, have so much invested in it. I've got the virtual instruments. I've got a lot of plugins and things that I need for my studio work. But I'm probably going to, my hope is that I can get to the point where I can at least create a partition on my main operating system drive, and I can run this and do a lot of my work on it, and then just retain Windows 10 for the foreseeable future, even though it's out of support. Just keep it on there as an offline working system for the studio. So far, I'm really excited about this because I'm telling you, man, this was really quite easy, at least as far as the initial setup. I didn't have to install a single driver here. I basically just created the thumb drive and all of the onboard drivers worked and everything functioned on my laptop right out the door. Audio, video, uh, keyboard, mouse, all that stuff. There wasn't anything that when, when I turned this machine on, there was nothing that was uh, non-functional. So I'm really excited about this and I hope everything works and I hope you guys stay tuned so that you can find out a little bit more about this topic.